Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to talk about this scope that was sent to me by Discovery Optics. This is the ED PRS Gen 2 5 to 25 by 56 millimeter first focal plane. Now here in just a second, I'm going to kind of zoom in and show you all the features of the scope, kind of do it in depth. But first I just want to tell you my first impressions. When I first pulled this scope out of the box, I was immediately impressed by how big it is. Now, a 56 millimeter objective lens is nothing new. And even a 34 millimeter tube is, you know, there's lots of other scopes that are this size. I just have never had one that was this big. It just feels quality. It just feels like, you know, it's substantial. There's something here and there's some high grade materials. So before we get it mounted up and take it to the range, let's go ahead and kind of do a deep dive and take a closer look. Always a good sign when tracking is guaranteed. Now this scope is in milliradians, so keep that in mind. One click is 0.1 MRADs. Does have a zero stop feature, which is a great feature to have. Nice tactile turret adjustments. I would say even more so on the elevation turret. Got your illumination settings here. These turn pretty easy. I've had some scopes where the it was really over tightened, but this one has a nice solid feel. Smooth, but yes, solid. Simply take this off and that's how you put the new battery in. Here's your parallax setting. Nice, nice goes all the way down to, let's see if you can see that very well, but it goes all the way down to 25 yards on parallax, which is fantastic. It goes up to 50, 100, 200, 500, back to infinity. It comes in very handy when you're sighting in at a short distance, or say your target is 25 yards. It's really nice to be able to go under 100 on the parallax. It comes with these scope caps, their flip up on the ocular and objective lenses. You can see here your, your eye focus, nice and smooth. Let's check out the magnification ring. Ooh, nice and smooth. Definitely is firm. It's not going to move on you without you wanting it, but it goes from five to 25, nice and smooth. Overall, this has the feel of quality. Definitely has some significant weight to it. It's not over heavy, but man, does it feel like it's solid, made of good materials. I wanna show you what all this came with in the box. So this is a quality control checklist. Literally tells you what was inspected at the plant and who did it and who checked it off. It comes with a little cleaning cloth here. This is pretty cool. This little card here gives you your specs. So kind of let you read that for a second. It tells you all the things that you want to know. Instruction manual, 18 pages, and it's all in English. It also comes with a sunshade. The model I got came with these rings. Be very specific when you check these rings out to make sure that they come with your scope. If they do not come, with your scope these are available on amazon sold separately but check your listing and see if they come with it comes with this throw lever you can screw that into the magnification ring and make it easier to turn comes with an allen wrench and this little brush which is nice also a scope leveling kit comes with it in this particular package if you're looking for a heavy duty scope with reliable tracking and good lens quality but not breaking the bank expensive, this could be your ticket. Just wanted to show you guys this. This is the little scope that was on the 7mm 08. And look at the difference. <laughs> look at the difference in size. <laughs> look at that. I think it's hilarious. That's a massive scope. <laughs> for not a very big rifle, but... It will serve the purpose for the testing, so let's go shoot. All right, took this down to 25 yards to get
get it sighted in there before I shot it at 100. Shot it at 25, made one adjustment. It was a lot of clicks, but it was one adjustment. Got me right where I wanted to. Now I'm gonna shoot it at 100 yards. By the way, the parallax at 25 yards was nice and crisp. Brought it back to 100, I adjusted the parallax to 100, and now the target is nice and crisp. So, so far so good. Let's see if it's on paper at 100. At 25 yards, I was aiming here, and I hit right there. So I, in one adjustment, got all the way back down to here. I felt like, hey, that's pretty good. Went back to 100, and I shot there. One more adjustment, and I shot there. So literally, I've shot four times. That's without even bore sighting it, and got all the way to my half inch low at 100 yards. So I'm gonna go up an inch, and then I'm gonna shoot a three shot group and see how it does. All right, so here you see the scope in its full glory with the throw lever on the magnification ring and with the sun scope attached on the front. I will show you a picture on the screen of the reticule just so you're kind of aware. One issue some people have with first focal plane is that when it's back down, you know, to three, four, five power, you can't see the reticule. But the fact that this has the illuminated center crosshairs really helps that out. So that shouldn't be a problem. And if you don't like the reticule being too busy, once again, unless you zoom all the way in, you're really not gonna see it. But on the flip side, when you do use those hash marks, they definitely match up, and no matter at what magnification you're using them at, they will still work. That's the point of a first focal plane. So this really is a great reticule and first focal plane scope for target shooting. I'll touch on the glass quality. I was impressed for this price point what the glass quality is. I have a few scopes I would say are slightly better, though they cost at least two or $300 more. And all the rest of my scopes I would say are worse. I've got one or two I'd say it's on par with, but for the price point you're getting this for, I think you're getting more than acceptable glass quality. I would say pretty nice. So that's something I look for in a scope. And you can definitely check that box. This has good quality glass. And then just one quick thing on the turrets and sighting it in. So I took this out 200 yards, got it sighted in extremely quickly, decided to call this scope and rifle combination the Big Easy. That's my new name for it. I haven't yet, you know, taken it out to a thousand yards or a mile or something like that. But I can tell you whether it be the turret adjustments, the parallax, everything worked great with no issues. When you are sighting it in, it's quite easy. You just simply unscrew the elevation turret with a flathead screwdriver, pop it off, turn it back to zero, put it back down. While you have it off, if you want to set the zero stop, it's equally easy. It has, I believe, three set screws. You just simply loosen those, turn your zero stop to where it's up against that point where it's done and it can't go any lower. And then you put it all back together, tighten your set screws. Quite simple. And then of course, getting your windage turret back to zero is quite easy as well. But instead of one big screw with a flathead screwdriver, you'll use an Allen wrench and there's four set screws on the windage turret. Simply pop it off, put it back to zero, pop it back on. If you want one of these, there'll be a link in the description below. Check it out, go buy one, put it on your nicest long range target rifle and see how it performs. All you can really do is test it out. Um, I am pretty impressed with it. Just the build quality, the fit and finish, you know, how everything moves. It just seems like it's a high quality scope for an affordable price. So I definitely recommend it um, and go get you one if you want to. So if you're into target shooting at long ranges and you're looking for a scope for that purpose, but you don't want to break the bank. You just can't really afford something that's in the thousands of dollars. I recommend giving this a shot. It really does have a lot of good features and it is made well. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. More videos like this coming out. Comment below, do you have any experience with this scope? What are your thoughts on the features that I've showed? Love to hear all about it.
We'll just leave it there. Hopefully you've had a great day and until next time, take care.